Okay. Uh, it's actually not the only misspelling. I found out in the research, the U.S. is the only one that uses the ER spelling. Everyone else in the world, everyone else in the world uses the RE. But <clears throat> theater profile is, um, let's, there we go. Uh, one problem the theater industry has is that the theater industry is very segmented. There's nothing that relates any cross boundaries. So you have Broadway, you have off Broadway, and there's no real crossover. Like if you want your data, you gotta, you don't really get it. And also if you start a show, everything is new. Everything's always new from scratch. There's no real record or history of anything. So theater profile is gonna work to correct some of that. So we really focus on the consumers, artists, production shows, companies, and venues uh, that are showing various things. The consumer piece of it, it will allow uh, consumers to search and find things that they want very quick and easily. Contribute, it is user generated and user contr contributions, so that you can tell about your favorite venues, shows, or artists, because some artists aren't as big or some venues are kind of small, so we want to know about everything. And there's notifications, so the more you interact with and tell it what you like or don't like, it's gonna start telling you things. Like if you like Book of Mormon, every time Book of Mormon's in town, you're gonna be the first one to know about it. <clears throat> and as it learns, it'll do recommendations like Netflix or Amazon, where if you like these shows, you'll like these other shows. If you like this artist, you may like them in this other show they're in, and that kind of fun stuff. <clears throat> the artists will be able to promote themselves, work on their brand and audience development, because as a producer or someone who's doing these things, if the artist has 5,000 followers or more, these are to sell tickets for them. They'll also have access to news feeds. Right now, if you want to find out what's going on, you have to go to 20 plus different websites that will have different articles. This would bring everything into one place, one search engine that would look at just the news articles and news feeds for the theater industry it itself. Uh, production shows, companies, and venues would have the ability to develop their audiences based on the analytics and data we're collecting on all these people so they can improve their sales, decrease that nice margin between how many tickets are sold and how many seats you actually have. And on average, a for every ticket sale, three tickets are sold. So the ticketing company actually collects data on one person. So there's two people hanging out in there that no one knows about. So Theater Profile is gonna try to figure out how to close that gap. So all those single ticket, all those people who are buying the tickets, figure out who all the other people are as well. So you get all the data to be able to program for them and increase your sales. So with all this data, we're gonna increase the knowledge on the industry as a whole, not just the segments or silos of the industry. So see like how the Broadway shows compared to the off-Broadway, compared to regional, compared to even community educational theater, what the crossover markets are in those. Um, increase the sales again, try to figure out how to program better so people, you're actually doing things people want to come see. Increase audience engagement, figure out what people interact with, what gets them interested, and also do things more efficient and effectively. And then a full complete picture of the whole industry. So just revenue, how we make our money, it's mainly membership. My theory is if you're making money off ticket sales, I want a little bit piece of that. But if you're a consumer, you always get to use the site for free. There's ads like everybody else, which also leads into stuff like sponsorships and that kind of fun things. And then all the data mining that we'll get with all the data that we have, we can sell marketing to advertisers to kind of figure out what's going on. Some interesting fun numbers to know is there are 50,000 actors equity members in the US. So at a $5 a month membership fee, that's $3 million a year. Actors' equity is actually the smaller portion of that. There are more non-equity members than there are equity members in the US. And also, in the DFW Metroplex alone, there's 106 theaters. Those are theaters with an online presence or the larger ones. Uh, that does not include any kind of educational theaters, any of the universities, any of the high schools, or any of some of the smaller community theaters who don't do much online. With that, if they'll do an average of five shows a year, that's about 800 shows a year, and that's 6,000 performances at eight shows a week. With 10 actors in each show, that's 8,000 roles available a year. At 600 audience members, that's 3.6 million eight attendees a year. And that number's on the low side because we have some very large houses around here. So, Theater Profile is currently running a beta program with Texas nonprofit theaters. So, Theater Profile is going to be the official website for all the information and data for the Fort Worth Fringe Festival. We are gonna host um, all the online ratings. So we have a rating system in place and those will at the end of the festival result in uh, audience choice awards for all those who are participating. So check it out, theaterprofile.com and come out and check out the Fringe Festival March 18th and 19th in Fort Worth. And that's us. <laughs> So
So just as a background, like four years ago, I researched every single one of your competitors in the United States. I found about 100 of them. Um, but I'm curious, are you doing IMDB for theaters or are you doing ticket sales? Because it seems a little bit of both. It, it is a little bit of both because it's the IMD part. Cause you, have the, you have to have the history and analytical data on all that stuff to be able to cross-reference that. Um, we're not going to actually sell tickets. We're just kind of like a resource to say how to get tickets and the right way to get tickets. Uh, part of this is because for 10 years I lived in New York and I worked on Broadway and did marketing for advertising, marketing advertising for Broadway, off Broadway, and touring products. So there was always the problem where no one knows how to buy tickets properly. Because if you go to New York, everyone says you want to go to the TKTS booth, right? Nope, you don't. That is the last thing you want to do. The best way to buy tickets is from the official ticketing source, which in general is either Telecharge or Ticketmaster. And you get discounts through Broadway Box and others and Broadway.com, which are great, but TKTS is actually hurts the industry more than anything else. So there's education process in that. But you have to have the analytical and the historical data on all these shows to be able to show what to do moving forward. Is that clear it up? <laughs> Talk afterwards, I'll give you more detail. Okay, so my question is, your revenue model is based on what? Is it on advertising? It's three parts. It's the advertising, the membership fees, because any theater company is using it to increase their sales or interaction, and the actors would pay for membership fees. And the other one is any of the data mining information we collect, we can then resell. And, and have you, you actually have, is Fringe Fest your first uh, event here, or your first No, Fringe engagement? Fest. Uh, Fringe Fest is the first one like that. We've also done pilot or tests and betas with, we worked with a couple of theaters in Fort Worth and Dallas, and we asked them kind of like how they would use it, what tools do they want to use. And one of the tools that came out of that was they wanted a way to distribute the information on their shows and productions to all the listing sites. There's a whole bunch of listing sites in the Metroplex. Mm -hmm. So right now they have to go to each one individually and put in the same information over and over and over again. So we actually built a tool where they give theater profile of all that information and they basically click a list of all the ones they want to share it with and Theater Profile distributes it out. Okay, nice. How do you collect data on uh, non-ticket purchasing attendees? The, data's, <clears throat> the data we're collecting is going to be based on the interaction, so we're working on ways to get them to interact with us. So if anyone wants to rate or do any of that stuff, uh, that's how we collect their data. And then actually it's a cross-reference with the ticket seller's data. So like if a venue uh, is working with us, they'll have their ticket data and we'll have the, uh, all of our data and we'll cross-reference that data to find out what's missing. Uh, since your uh, background's in New York, what's the grand vision of Theater Profile? Can you put this onto like the Broadway stage for me so I can understand what the big picture is? Oh, the big picture would be global because, I mean, artists and these shows and these things don't stay in one place. Like, you know, you have shows are on Broadway, then they go on tour, but then they also go to Asia or to China. And then all those artists, like you have people who work in London, you have people who work in New York, you have people who are actually artists here and actors in, like, the Metroplex who go to New York and L.A. and even Chicago to work. And being able to tie all that stuff together so you get more of a clear picture and you can actually, like, if you really like an artist, to be able to actually follow their entire track. Basically. So you're helping venues fill seats, correct? Yeah. Why haven't you included concessions? Uh, that's part of it later, but that's something that gets a little more complicated in the industry because it's um, when you work with like the ticket sellers, and eventually we'd work directly with the ticket it, ticket people. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, that we could, theater profile could get into that at some point. The thing is, like, in the, best way to put it is theater, theater's the first one to want to be last in all this stuff. So, like, that kind of concept, like, they keep trying to, like, when I was doing that in New York, they keep trying to adopt these things like sports do when it's stuff like that. But the margins on the sports tickets are so much higher, it never really quite worked with the theater audience. So it's really just trying to figure out and give them a way that it works, and no one's been able to figure that out yet. And part of it is that data doesn't exist 
to show what your potential is and your potential loss is. All right. Thank you.